in this video i'll uh, give you the solution of uh, assignment 9 which i asked you in previous video i hope you have honestly uh, solved it by yourself if you were facing any kind of problems i am definitely sure that in this video uh, you will get rid of this all all the doubts so this is the question we have basically uh, i'll repeat the problem statement again i'll have to calculate q that is flow rate while i have other other all values so i'll take k uh, as 0.33 darcy's and other values as uh, given and i'll calculate this q which should come uh, to 0.5 cm q per second now let's see what is the formula of flow rate how can we calculate flow rate we can simply uh, do it this way right we can just simply use this formula by mathematical operation and we can uh, simply put the values and we can get the value of q but the problem is i asked you to do this statement uh, in this uh, problem using functions so let's do one thing uh, let us create uh, some variables let's say my permeability stands for k and i ask my user to input uh, the permeability right enter the permeability value and i will i'll convert it into float type because i have to do some calculations uh, so i'll have to convert it from string to a float or an integer now i say my area a capital a and i ask again i'll convert it into float and i ask my user to input uh, enter the cross sectional area so I, i'll write csa great now i'll do uh, i'll ask del p what del p is uh, what del p is means uh, pressure difference and it will again input what is the pressure difference what is the pressure differential okay now del p is done now i, I ask for viscosity and i put the variable mu mu uh, i'll ask enter the all the all these calculations are in um, cgs units because all the data has been given in cgs units enter the viscosity great now last thing i want is length let's say it is l float input enter the length okay now let us define a function it will ask all, it will ask all the values but we have to input all these values inside a function in order to get our flow rate so how do we define a function like this def function name so my function name i'll put flow rate only okay now this flow rate will take how many inputs it takes how many input it takes it will take uh, one input for permeability one for area one for del p and one for viscosity one for l right so it will take what it will do it will take one two three four five so i'll write a b c d e f so let's uh, so this this will become my a this will become my b this will become my c this will become my d and this becomes my e uh just a second i have i have added extra f pair a b c d e only five five are enough now what this uh, now you have taken all these values now what it what you have to do do we have to generate result what it should be coming as so it should be permeability into area into del p that is a into b into c right that is a into b into c, sorry a into b into c and then it should be get divided by um, mu and l so mu and l represents t and l represents e so this will give me the flow rate now if i uh, now if i go here there now this my function has been defined but to get the value the, to get the this value I'll, i also need that uh, I'll, I'll also need uh, i also need to calculate the sorry to call the function flow rate that is flow rate and what i need to write here is k so i have to give now k a del p mu and l 
Now you might be getting confused between this A B C D E. Here you have written A B C D E, and here you have written K A D L P M U L. I I I'm I was also getting confused at, at when I was learning it, but you can understand understand it that way. Uh, for example, if I create another function, let's say if I create multiple let A B, right, and this returns me A into B. So this is I have defined a function. When I call a function, when I call a function, what I do is M U L. and i put in those values i put in the values of a and b right so i put 5 or 6 let's say and now it will give me the result so here also i am doing the same thing what i am doing is i am just putting the values of a b c d and e so a is a will be equal to k which i will be entering in this variable uh, b will equal to the area which i'll be giving input in this a so this similarly this is going on and going on now if i run this code i have called the function here right i have called the function here it will definitely give me result now if i uh, let's say I, i delete this to see the values clearly here now if i run this code it will ask me for the permeabilities value i have to what is the permeability value so i'll just write 0.33 from upwards 0.333 great now it is asking me the curved surface area value so what is the value of area now area is nothing but 3 right area is 3 now it is asking me the pressure differential del p so pressure differential is 2 atm i'll write 2 atm now it will ask me the viscosity and viscosity is 1 centipoise so i'll write 1 and what is the length uh, length is equal to 4 cm 4 cm now if i press enter all the values have been given the function has been defined the function has been called now the function will run and give me the value of flow rate so the flow rate is coming out to be 0.4995 which is nothing but 0.5 approximately and yes you can see here is on the questions also it was given as a 0.5 so we have created a very good function um this was a very 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 good practice of creating a function using darcy's law you can also make a change here you can what you can do is uh, you have return you can also return a statement here like uh, i'll just cut this one what you can do is use of string formatting so the flow rate comes out to be and then you can write this inside the curly brackets and you can also give the units that is centimeter cube per second now if you run this code again you input the values again 0.333 and the curved surface area was 3 i guess yes it was 3 pressure differential was 2 viscosity was 1 and length was 4 now you can see what i'm getting flow rate comes out to be 0.495 cm cube per second so this is how you create a function for a darcy's law now uh, you have i have assignment 10 for you now do this for your own uh, own self honestly do it and i'll not give any solution of this but if you face any problem you can anyways contact us on linkedin uh, so this is a example of tarak ahmed only uh, you what you have to do is you have to calculate the weighted average permeability you have to calculate weighted average permeability you all know what the weighted average permeability formula is if you don't know you can go out to this you can see the solution you can look at the solution after looking at the solution you can uh, think of yourself how i can write this uh, in uh, python how can i write uh, a code for this solution okay so this is it for uh, video and yes i'll see you in the next video for sure thank you for joining